So Rumble Golf Tuition today, we're looking at the main tips that I promote uh, for back garden, for driving range, uh, for the practice ground. These are the physical exercises that are going to help you to change your bad habits more than you just standing there trying to think differently. These will actually try to physically help you make those changes. You will get to where you want to be faster. Okay? Some of these will apply, some of them won't. Take them all on board and then use them where you think necessary. Okay, the first one is feet together. This helps players who lean back, people who have far too much movement when they're playing their shots, players who struggle to keep their heads still. So what we're looking at doing is actually hitting the ball with, say, a seven iron, ankles and knees touching, locked in position, your normal golfing posture to so create your normal angle, basically hitting between 10 and 20 balls with your feet together, trying to hit the ball and trying to maintain your balance as you hit that shot. Okay, that's tip number one. The second tip is learning to swish the club, generating more club head speed. So we turn the club the wrong way around, we hold it at the head end. We imagine there's a ball about knee high. What we're trying to do is create a swoosh. Now you're not hear it with the background noise here today, but when you're there in person, you are looking to create the biggest noise from the least physical movement. So we're looking to twist and turn and swing those hands and arms. If you have a swing which is triggering in the wrong place, you'll get the sound before the ball, you'll get the sound after the ball. What should be happening is you get a big noise where the ball is. This is excellent for players who struggle with distance, who struggle to get that ball out there alongside the playing partners. Okay? Tip number three. Tip number three we're looking at is weight transference. Okay, good exercise maybe to start at home so you don't embarrass yourself down at the driving range. But we're looking to swing back, take the left foot off the ground. This simulates getting the weight on your right side. We start the downswing, put the weight onto the left leg. Okay, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Good exercise for making sure that you're transferring the weight to the right, back to the left. Notice when you do this at home, or at the driving range, how many of you actually have your weight on your left foot at the top of the backswing and your weight on the right foot as you hit it, completely the wrong way around. Let's see if we can hit a shot by doing that. Right foot, left foot. Try that today. Number four. This is basic exercises to improve your flexibility. Okay, so we're getting the club across your shoulders and we're looking to get a full 90 degree shoulder turn on both sides. So looking to create shoulder turn while you stood upright, basic loosening of the joints, muscles around the backs of the hips, and then get into golfing posture. And on top of all that, if you can do that in front of a reflection at home, you know, a window, sort of an old mirror, get one propped up at the side of the garage and actually start to watch yourself, you know. So tip number five is to actually observe yourself practicing. Um, like I'm doing today, get a camera, get your phone, film yourself. Even if it's a still picture, uh, you can learn a lot about your own swing. Use them as reference points, okay? You need to be looking at yourself in the reflection. Things like making sure if you're watching your own eyes that your head isn't moving as you swing up or down. It's just moving slightly to the right and slightly to the left. If you're looking in the mirror and you're seeing a lift and a drop, then we have a problem. So you need to be watching what you're doing in the mirror. Things like watching, is your right foot coming up as you follow through? Are you getting a shoulder turn as you swing back? They are all good tips and you can actually observe yourself properly. Have a go at those five top tips, see if they improve your game, and we'll go from there.